Shinder Raj. Um, so I started going to the temple in 76, before I left, before I graduated high school. And then in August of 77, I moved in. And um, we were worshiping Prabhupada. We used to do 24-hour um, kirtan. And I used to have the 11 to 3 shift, where we make that prayer, it's your desire, please cure Shiva Prabhupada. Then I also had to go to Hartford. I went to Hartford for a little while. And um, I was with Narendra Swami. He was Brahmacharya. So we were traveling, and we were in Hartford. And every week, every other week, we go to Boston, and then another week we go to New York. So that week we were in Boston, and um, I went into the the Prasad room. And there was Nam Sankirtan, and um, there were just, I think you were there, Jamasmi, weren't you? Jamasmi was there, and there was a whole group of devotees, about eight of us total. And that's when he told us Shiva Prabhupada had left the planet. So the first thing I thought of was, what do I do? <laughs> because Prabhupada was gone. You know? So then, I, I think it was like maybe a month later, they announced that you were coming to be the guru for New York. And I was sitting with Nam Sankirtan, and we were looking at each other thinking, who? Because <laughs> we didn't know you. You were, I think, in Dallas, or you were in other places, but you weren't really in New York. Yeah. So Adikeshwa Maharaj at the time had sat us all down and said, well, this is going to be your guru, and he gave us that kind of a stern picture of you. A stern picture of you sitting, and we're like, I don't know this guy. <laughs> I, like, I said, do I have to? He goes, well, if you want to get initiated, I go, uh, can we beat him? <laughs> so you came, I think you came in January, and um, it, my my recollection is right. And you walked in, and we, as was at the time, it was a very rambunctious cure time. You came in, you went up to your room, and then we had, um, the first darshan we had, you sat there. I remember this very, very clearly. You sat there, and you, you looked at us all, and you went, spiritual life is not a plateau. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and you said, it's not that you come to a certain level, and then you can coast. You have to always be practicing, you have to always be chanting, you have to always increase in your spiritual life. Otherwise, you'll go up, and then you'll go down. And when you said that to, to all of us, I was like, whoa. Because I was thinking maybe there was a culmination. Initiation means I made it. But actually, um, in another morning um, talk, morning walk, you said, because um, we got to do a lot of those because we were the first group in New York to get initiated. It was like, I think it was 17 first and 8 second. And, um, and, and you were saying, initiation isn't the end of it, it's the beginning. To initiate means to begin. But now you will start your spiritual life. And you, you spoke about uh, with the connection, like what you, how you spoke today, how you have the connection with the parampara, and that you were doing this on behalf of Prabhupada. And then after that morning walk, Nam was like, we would always muscle the position to, to get close to hear you. And then you uh, you went in, and we had greeting of the deities in the morning program, and Nam came up to you and says, so, so what do you think? <laughs> and I went, I said, I think we'll keep them. <laughs> and um, so then we got initiated. It was, um, it was around Rathiyacha time in 78. And um, like I said, there were a lot of um, first initiate, about 17. And it seemed funny how every name you gave was applicable to the person that you were giving it to. Like there was one devotee, Bhaktaran, who was like, he was a tall, black body, really like sculptured. So you gave him the name Ramachandra. And then there was a Bhakta Matt who was like six foot three or six foot four, and you gave him the name Mahajan. <laughs> and then you had a little trouble because you had three Bhakta gyms. <laughs> I remember you even mentioned, he goes, oh, another gym? <laughs> and that became Jamastami, Jamatisya, and Jai Prabhupada. Yeah. Um, and then there was, um, I think his name was Richie. I think that was his, <clears throat> his regular name. And he was a very melodious singer. And he became Ratidas. 
And then, um, Lang Sangtang, we used to call him Bak the Bang, which is his kind of, everyone, well, it's kind of obvious why you'd call that. But, <laughs> but his name was Noel. So you, and he was a real Sankirtan word, so you named him Nam Sankirtan. So then when I went up, if you listen to the initiation tape, there's, you can hear the devotees laughing, like Sanjay is like, Hare Ra! You hear him in the background, really rejoicing. And then I went up, and I couldn't almost stand, I was so scared, you know. But I paid obeisances, and Haridas was there. He was the one giving out the beads. I still have the picture, the black and white picture of me getting my beads from him. I always take inspiration from that. So when I went up, I had, I think I was the only person, I'll make my confession in front of everyone, that I used to steal Radhagovinda's Mangalwati sweets. <laughs> I was the only one who actually could get away with it, even to the point that Adhikesha made an announcement, saying if we catch you stealing the Mangalwati sweets, he says, we're going to kick you out until you get really heavy. And <laughs> so I went up to my name, I paid all says, you, you said, your name is Damodar Nath. So I'm like, he knows. <laughs> I, was, I had a heart attack on us. <laughs> but, um, but I remember, the ground said I was, I was like 19 years old. I might have been, let's see, 78. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, I was 19 years old. And when I took those beads, and I did obeisances and I got up, I made a promise, not just to you, but to myself, that no matter how many times I would fall, I would always get up again. And our relationship as personally over the years have, has had its ups and downs. But through the whole time, I've never lost my respect or my, or my love for you, because I know that you care about me. And, um, and that's my shelter. So, thank you.